Hi, and welcome to The Four Bells. Here in our simple stretching series today, we are looking at a very basic way to stretch and mobilize the calf, which in turn will hopefully give us some more ankle range of motion, particularly when we are squatting, if you have trouble with deep squatting. So when most people come to stretching the calf, they treat it as like a very simple thing. They kind of just maybe hang their heel off the edge of a step. Today, we are gonna attack calf stretching in all different dimensions. So the first thing you need to get set up is a post or a door frame, something that you can hold on to. So even if it's just the lip of a door frame, make sure you can hold on. From there, the setup with the foot is very important. So as you can see, I'm not just here on the toe, I am here on the ball of the foot. So as you can see, I'm leaning back. The position of my foot is pretty high up on the post. From there, once this position is fixed, I'm gonna try and stand up as tall as possible. From there, I'm gonna drive my hip into the post. And this is where we begin. So depending on how you want to approach your calf stretch, you can do it in a multitude of different ways. I would pick one of these styles and do two minutes per leg. So the first one involves a lot of eye contact and it's all about trying to hump the post. So we drive our hip into the post. The second one is moving the hips from side to side, still trying to keep the hip as close to the post as possible. And the third one is moving our hips in a circle. Of course, we can go in one direction, change it, and then go in the other direction. Last but not least, number four is still keeping the hip close. I'm just gonna turn and look away from the post. And as I said, pick one of these four styles and do it for two minutes each leg. All you need is a door frame, a foot that's high up on the post, and four minutes of your day.